audience members have been loaded onto this screen. And we are going to pick one in three, two, one, stop. It's Angela Pavlo. Get up here, Angela, where are you? Hey, there you are. How are you? Congratulations. Nice to meet you. Stand back there behind the mic. We'll get going. All right. Hi, Angela. Where are you from? I'm from Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right. So here are all the prizes that you will be playing for. They're really nice prizes. Let's cover them up and give them a shuffle. And now none of us knows which prize is where. So here's how this works. I'm going to ask you as many questions as I can from this week's news in 60 seconds. If you get a question right, you pick a number, and the prize behind that number is yours. That's all there is to it. Ready? Yes. Good luck, Angela. Thank you. You have one minute. You have one minute, and your minute starts now. What is the name of the hurricane that has caused record flooding in South Carolina? Joaquin or Josephine? Joaquin. Correct, pick a number. Two. In, the, in North Pole, Alaska, a man named what is running for city council? Santa Claus or Kris Kringle? Kris Kringle. Incorrect. Earlier in the show, we featured real housewife Nicole Taylor, who is from what city, Raleigh or Richmond? Richmond. Correct, pick a number. Three. Scientists in China have genetically engineered what animal to sell as pets? Mini sheep or mini pigs? Mini pigs. Correct. Pick a number. Ten. For John Lennon's 75th birthday, Yoko Ono assembled over 2,000 people in Central Park today to form a giant what? Strawberry or peace sign? Peace sign. Correct. Pick a number. Seven. On a dare, Jennifer Lawrence shoved how many marshmallows into her mouth during an MTV News interview? Eight or ten? Ten. Correct. Pick a number. Sixteen. What American designer announced he is stepping down as CEO of his fashion empire? Ralph Lauren or Tommy Hilfiger? Tommy Hilfiger. Incorrect. A hunter in Montana survived an attack by shoving his arm down the throat of what? A grizzly bear or a black bear? A grizzly bear. Correct. Pick a number. One. One. Time is up. You got six correct. That's fantastic. That means you've won six prizes. But wait a second. I want you to have a chance to walk away with all 16 prizes. So we have one final question. It's called the make or break question. If you choose to go for it and you get it wrong, you will lose the prizes that you've already won. But if you get it right, you will win all 16 prizes. And it's a tough decision because you don't know which prizes you have already won, right? So audience, what should she do? Should she stay or play? All right, get the audience. Wait, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Shaquille O'Neal, what should she do? Stay or play? Play. <laughs> play. Interesting. All right. It seems unanimous, but it's Angela's decision. So what's it going to be? I'll play. All right. Very good. Yeah. All right. So you decided to play. Let's take a look at what you're risking. What would you? A trip to New Mexico, a blender, the book. Oh, the autograph book, Shaq. Sorry. Oh. Stuffed animals. That's okay. You're, the big prizes are still on the board. So I think you made a wise decision. I need absolute silence in the audience. Angela, I will accept only your first answer. All right. Here is your make or break question. For the 22nd year in a row, Bill Gates tops the Forbes 400 as the richest American with a net worth of how much? 67 billion or 76 billion dollars? I'll say 76 billion. You're correct, you got it! <laughs> Thousands of dollars in prizes just like Angela. And hundreds of calls for meeting relatives. And next week, some lucky viewers are gonna get a chance to win the best vacation ever provided by Qantas. We're gonna play Ticket to Slide. You're gonna love it. But right now,